aborted in Utah last year. Advocates say they are more than a number. These babies are irreplaceable lives that should have a chance to grow and prosper, and that more needs to be done to help pregnant women in crisis instead of offering them the choice of an abortion. Abortion is one of the most inhumane things that takes place today, and it's really empowering to be able to come out here and to be a voice for those who can't have their own voice. Women do have tremendous power. We hold life in our hands, and we do have the choice. There were men and women and children and elderly people all alike, all fighting for one thing. Now, we did visit with the Planned Parenthood office here locally. We were told that no one was available for comment. However, nationally on the group's Facebook page, they are asking for more compassion for women who choose to get an abortion. Live at the Capitol, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News. All right, Nicole, thank you. Well, the weather is certainly looking pretty decent outside today. Adam Carroll is in now with a first look at the forecast. Hi, Adam. Hey, Nick, but you know, there were a lot of areas along the Wasatch Front that saw enough low level moisture left a dense fog out there, including Salt Lake City, until it broke. Now, Scott Taylor sent this in. That's the Capitol right there early this morning. There's not a lot you can see in that picture thanks to that fog. And this is what Fairfield looks like, which is the west side of Utah, the, the Utah Lake area. It's still fogged in. And looking at our fog and visibility out there right now, this is kind of in the same vicinity as where Fairfield is, so Provo, Payson. This is down to a quarter mile at times in terms of visibility or less. So we have that fog going on still. We'll actually bring it back tonight in some areas of the Wasatch Front. But from Davis to Utah counties, we have a little bit more in the way of some air quality. We have a little bit of building haze out there as well. And down south, not too bad. Most other places are in the green right now. 38 in Salt Lake. Uh, we were 47, though, uh, at one point this afternoon. 42 in Logan, 29 in Moab, 60 in St. George. Regional forecast shows our next storm system coming into play here during the afternoon hours tomorrow. That will bring valley rain, mountain snow, mountain valley snow as well. We're going to talk a little bit more about this storm and how much we can expect coming up in the full forecast, Nick. All right, Adam, moisture in the forecast. We appreciate it. New tonight, a 26-year-old man is dead after being hit and killed in Harrisville last night. We don't have the identity of him, but here's what police tell us happened. The man was crossing Washington Boulevard near 700 North, around 9 o'clock when he was hit by a driver heading southbound. The man, we're told, was not in the crosswalk. He was wearing dark clothes and crossing in an area, police say, that was poorly lit. The victim died at the scene. Police do not believe impairment was a factor in this crash.